What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD and in my last video we got to take a look at the BenQ EX240, a budget gaming monitor. If you missed that video, I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you guys could take a look at it. But today we're going to be taking a look at the EX240N, an even more budget friendly 24 inch 1080p gaming monitor. So let's dive in, take a look at all the specs, what it has to offer, talk about the pros and the cons, and overall what I think about the monitor. Everything is going to be linked down in the description below and let's get started. So first, let's take a look at what it all comes with. First, we got the quick start guide and some other documentations. Next, we have the power cable and an HDMI cable. Then we have the stand, and finally, we have the base. Taking a look at the ports of the monitor, it has a power port, a display port version 1.2, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a headphone port. On the bottom, there is the power button, the five key navigator, and an input select button. On the front, there is the ambient light sensor in the middle and two 2.5 watt speakers on the bottom facing downward. You also have the HDR button on the bottom right. To install the base, the arm just slides in, locking it in place. You can remove it by holding a button above the arm with a screwdriver or an allen key, allowing you to slide the arm out. The monitor is also visa mount compatible and has a backplate cover. The base is also with just a simple thumb screw. No tools are required and the arm has two holes to route the cables to keep everything nice and organized and you can remove the cover to make it easier. Lastly, the monitor has no height adjustment or swivel, just tilt, so it does limit you a bit to fit the way that you want in your setup. Now, taking a look at the specs, this is a 24 inch VA panel. It supports 1080p of up to 165 hertz and has a PPI of 93. It supports HDR10, it has a brightness of 250 nits, it has a 1 millisecond MPRT response time, and a 4 millisecond greater gray, and supports AMD FreeSync Premium. And lastly, it has a 72% NTSC color accuracy. The EX240N is retailing for $199, but at the time of this recording, it's currently on sale for $129. Now let's talk about the video quality. First, let's talk about the HDR. There are three modes, Game HDR, Cinema HDR, and HDR. And you guys know the deal if you have seen one of my previous Mobius monitor videos in the past, HDR combines both HDR and Brightness Intelligence Plus to give you the best colors, contrast, and details, so nothing is overexposed or too dark. You can see the details in both the bright and dark areas and have vivid colors. Brightness Intelligence Plus automatically dims and brightens the screen depending on the environment by using the ambient light sensor and you can see the icon on the bottom right when it's being used. In my experience, the monitor quality is not that bad for the price. Even though it's a 1080p display, it still has a good amount of sharpness and detail and doesn't look pixelated, mainly due to it being a 24 inch monitor. Playing PC games, I'm able to play at up to 165 hertz and it feels great when playing FPS games like Call of Duty, Halo, and Apex. The one to four millisecond response time still feels quick and I could be reactive and on point when it comes to fast paced games. Playing on consoles like the Xbox and PS5, you are limited a bit of going only up to 120Hz, but it still feels smooth. Unfortunately, due to it having a VA panel, you need to be angled dead in the center in order to get the best performance. If you look at it from an angle or use it as a second monitor and not your main one, you'll notice the colors being more washed out along with the contrast being diminished as well, so definitely something to keep in mind of. Now, getting into the speakers, this monitor only provides a 2 channel 2.5 watt facing downward, so nothing major compared to the higher end models, and only has 3 modes which are FPS, Cinema, and Pop Slash Live. The volume can be controlled with the 5 key navigator, so let's take a listen to hear how it sounds. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? If anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written.
So overall, the EX240N offers pretty decent specs for the price. You get a great response time and a high refresh rate, but that's about it. Gaming on it overall felt good, but in order to get the price down, a good amount of features needed to be removed. And if we compare it to the EX240, you lose the IPS display and go to a VA panel, you go from 350 nits to 250 nits, and it does show that it's not as bright as I was personally liking. You lose the adjustable height and you lose the extra ports. Now this is all specs on paper, so in my experience, the image still looks good and along with the colors. It's definitely doable and this would be a good option for a first gaming monitor for a kid for his or her birthday or Christmas gift. Now this monitor does retail for $199 and you still get great performance as a gamer and most people don't care about the color accuracy and brightness. But when the EX240 is just $40 more, I would just go for that option in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below on your thoughts on the AX240N and everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. As always, TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!